everybody and welcome to my channel. Now usually I follow up with saying my name is Heather Spears and then some kind of something about fashion but today this video is actually a little little bit of a different step and if you ha if you haven't seen my channel with my sister the Spears sisters this is actually a post that I had originally done on that channel and I'm bringing it over here kind of editing it a little different and theming it more for the outfits and the fashion and the creativity behind this project. So that is what's going on here if you recognize the backdrop at all. So I just wanted to let you know that this video, it's actually a costume video and it is focusing on uh, costumes, two costumes that I did for a game that I was really excited for, a super big fan of the series, um, Borderlands. So that's kind of what I was doing and I, I ended up making this really, really big elaborate project where I was just so passionate about it every single day and I designed the outfits for it and I did some um, painting and some other things that I'll describe here in a little bit. But I know you're, what you're probably thinking, this is a fashion channel, why does this belong here? And it really truly is this simple, it's as simple as this and this is why I am bringing it to this channel and making the video in the way that I am. And it is just to show inspiration. And inspiration is such a big, big part of fashion and such a big, big part of creative living in general. And it shows how such a small idea, such a small little inspiration can turn into something super, super big. So that is kind of what I'm intending to highlight here with this video. And what you're going to see from here is a kind of a showcase on how I displayed these two outfits. And then after that, some talks about the outfits it's themselves and the reason why I did what I did <laughs> with these things. So it's kind of an, an incorporation of the showcase video that I did with this interview that I did and how this very, very small idea blew up into something so, so big. And then I will come back here today, as you can see, my, my clothes will change. Here today, I am going to talk a little more about the, the actual costumes and things like that and then close out for the day. But if you are interested in the original, very long interview for uh, this, this project that I did, I'm going to put that in the link in the description box below. So you're always welcome to join for that if you are more interested in me talking about the game itself. But this, it's focused on the creative aspect of it, the costumes, and all of that good stuff. So hopefully this little um, idea of little inspiration turning into a big thing helps you on your fashion journey somehow in some way. But without further ado, let's get started. After E3, I just, I fell in love with Borderlands 3. I loved their presentation and everything. 
So I planned this shoot and it, it started out, it was just gonna be two masks, um, kind of more of a, of a cosplay thing, but they gave out these really, really neat um, posters at E3. And when I saw the, the designs of these posters, I thought, I wanna do a mask for every one of these posters. Now, it didn't come to that. I did not have enough time to do that. So I did choose my two favorites. And these ones were my two favorites because they contrast each other. And that's what I wanted to reflect in the entire video. I didn't want it to be just cosplay. I didn't want it to be just, you know, I just, I just wanted to incorporate as much as I could in their marketing strategy and bring it into one, uh, one thing. And that's really what came from the video. So the first thing was I knew I wanted to paint the masks to look like the posters and I wanted to do all the posters but I knew that I didn't have time to do all that and so I picked my two favorites. The two that I chose I liked because they were in complete contrast to each other. You got the one that's all colorful and the other one that's black and white. So I thought, you know, let's make that idea, you know, let's add to it a little bit and I thought you know, it would make it really cool if I not only painted the masks, but if each mask had its own backdrop. And from there, I kind of evolved into the idea of um, creating these, you know, contrasting characters behind each mask and what they would wear and how they'd act. And that's really how it started and kind of how it finished. It was one base idea, and then you just keep adding on top of it and adding on top of it until it becomes this huge project that you know my every day it's just a, a passion and I'm like you know I want to complete this and I want to get this out to the world and make some kind of neat uh, themed entertainment out of it I suppose or like I like to call it this is my Borderlands 3 game tribute. I think the part that I I liked a lot about painting the masks was it was really relaxing. I painted all the masks with my dogs were sitting next to me. My cat would come in and, and check out the paints and try, try to mess with me a little bit. But that was that was the relaxing part of the whole thing because it was just kind of, you know, pop on some music and just get to painting. And I did have the poster as a reference and I wanted to make it look like the mask itself jumped right out, of the, right out of the poster and onto our face. So that is definitely where I, I kept my mindset is make this look exactly like this marketing material and make, it, make that come to life because needless to say, I was a big fan of the marketing of it. I think the art and I know a lot of it was making references to other, other forms of entertainment, other things, but these two particular pieces I thought they contrast each other so well and I just I was in love with it and so I thought let's let's make something of this. So the longest but also kind of my favorite part of this whole project is actually painting the backdrop. That was the big part of the project because the backdrop it's it's massive. It's it's large, you know. This is behind me here. I think it's maybe a 10 by 10, maybe even 11 by 11 space. So it's it's really big and I just, I have this abundance of white fabric and I laid it out on the floor and just kind of freehanded the logo straight onto the fabric in my black paint. When I was looking at it, I thought, you know, it looks really cool for that black and white mask, but I wanted to do something to where I was able to make it match the colorful mask without it, um, without it taking away. So I just mixed paint with water and just kind of spilled it and rubbed it and splattered it until I got this um, maybe kind of splatter tie-dye look in the back and I thought oh my gosh this is what it's like this is what it should be like for the colorful mask but I think the stress of that came in with I only had one backdrop and it was all black and white and that's when I did my shoot and I, I had to take the time in between to to color the whole backdrop for Sarah's mask and that was stressful because if I messed up then that was it they weren't gonna match so that was the stressful fun and longest part of the entire project so the clips you just saw were from the original interview that I had done describing this so this really big Borderlands 3 project that I was working on and in these clips, you'll probably notice I talked a lot about those masks, about painting and bringing this project to life. But 
Something that I left out that I never covered in the original video was actually moving forward about talking about the costumes and how and why I designed the costumes in the way that I did. And that's what really fits in with this channel and that's how it really incorporates into what we do here is I always talk about the design elements and with these projects like this why I did what I did in attire and that's really where I'm gonna go uh, move forward with in this video is kind of striding away from that and into this. So in my costume, my costume was a black and white costume. I really wanted to keep it very, very simple. It was going to be a simple costume. And if you've ever played the game or if you're familiar with the series, then you're probably pretty familiar with the fact that there are like, from a fashion perspective or a character design perspective, there are like two different types of characters on this game. You have like um, very, very simple in attire and then like super, super elaborate. So with this particular character, I wanted it to feel a little bit more like a, an average enemy that you might encounter on the game and something more like that. So bandages on the arms and um, simple black crop top, you know, oversized baggy kind of sweatpants, just something that you might see kind of run out in, in hordes, if, if that makes sense. If you're a gamer, it makes sense. But anyway, I just kind of wanted that that average everyday villain feel with this character because there are so many unique characters on Borderlands and their their attitudes and their outfits and stuff are usually very, very big, very, very loud outfits. So with this one, with it being inspired by that black and white poster that I had, I wanted to dial it back and keep this particular character and this particular outfit simple and I think with that I was able to capture more of a, a little bit of a crazy or kind of outlandish feel in attitude over an outlandish feel in the outfit itself. So that was kind of the baseline where I wanted to hit with that first uh, black and white uh, mask and I, I feel like there's not much I would have changed if I were to do it now and that's always how I know I hit the mark where I wanted to when doing these projects. Like, you know, I don't look back and think, oh, I wish I would have put a coat on that or I wish I would have done a dress or anything like that. This character seemed perfectly fit for what I was trying to convey. You probably noticed that the theme that I was, was getting at here with these two characters and these two backdrops and these two masks was contrast. I've said that word quite a bit throughout this video is contrast, contrast, contrast. So with Sarah's outfit, I did want to do something a little different. I kept mine very simple, so I wanted to elevate hers a little bit. Now, I'm not going to say I elevated hers to a level of Borderlands, because like I said, some of these characters are very, very, very outlandish. They have big, big, massive pieces of armor, or they have, you know, fluffy frills, or, or they're just such a variety of characters out there. It's so inspiring. So if you are looking for inspiration, just look up Borderlands 3 and see some of these outfits. And it is just, um, it is just fun. You can get lost down that rabbit hole for a long time. But yeah, so with Sarah's character, I did want to keep her outfit um, a little bit louder than my outfit. A little bit, there's a little bit more to her. And in her actual outfit itself, I wanted a contrast in that. So she was the colorful mask and I made this tutu. And the tutu, I wanted to have a little structure so I actually ended up sewing fishing line into the entire hem of all of these ruffles and frills to make it kind of big and puffy and light, kind of the opposite of what you would see a villain. And obviously these two masks are kind of more villain characters in the game. So I wanted to have that light fluffy fill because that's like a little bit of a contrast just to go along with everything else. But I didn't want to stop there. I really wanted another contrast and that's why I made her that tight corset to go on the top. Made it bright, to, you know, to match the background. But it has the contrast between the waist and the hips and then the contrast between like the villainish mask and then the, the fluffy light skirt. So it kind of creates this like confusing kind of like this or that, you know, kind of, kind of feeling. And like I feel like Borderlands as a game and as a series, you get those confusing moments and it is just absolute chaos. So that's what I wanted to bring into this video. And I hope describing these costumes in the way that I did um, helps illustrate why this video is so, um, so crazy and, and different from all my other projects. 
so I just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming out and spending this time with me today and caring enough to listen about my crazy passion projects and things like that. So, you know, thank you for coming out and spending the time with me. I know this is a bit different than what I usually post on my channel. It's a little bit of a stride away from fashion as an industry. It's a little bit of a stride away from just fashion in general. I mean, it is a costume post. You know I do like my costumes, but anyway. It is a stride away from what I usually post here, so I really appreciate that you cared enough to come in and, and listen because this is where my heart is. I love these big passion projects and I hope that this video shows how that little inspiration that you might get might turn into something way bigger than you ever expected because in fashion, in costumes, in any creative endeavor, inspiration is key. And this is a true inspiration project. So I definitely hope you enjoyed. If you did, or if you saw anything you like, the clothes, the costumes, if you're a fan of Borderlands and that's how you stumble across my video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know and I know that I'm not just a crazy person sitting here doing all this madness for no reason. But anyway, if you wanna see more, I do have more costume posts, maybe not quite as um, themed as this one or, or maybe, Maybe a little different, but I do have more costume posts. My channel is a primary focus on fashion, but um, if you want to see more or if you just enjoyed hanging out with me, hit that subscribe button and you are always welcome back here at my channel. Now, anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Until next time, bye!